Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at Paul Ehrlich and his development of magic bullets to treat disease. As always there's a free handout in the description and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history based revision content. Let's get into the details. Paul Ehrlich was a German physician who had previously worked with Robert Koch on the identification of germs and bacteria. Paul Ehrlich is best known for the discovery of Salvesin 606, which was a treatment for syphilis, which was an STD, which was prevalent at the time. His discovery of Salvesin 606 is worth noting for two important reasons. First of all is this concept of magic bullets. This was an idea that Ehrlich had had when he was a young researcher at university. He believed that certain chemicals could be designed in a way so that they would attack a germ in the body to kill a disease without affecting the rest of the body itself. Salvesin 606 is known as 606 because that is how many chemical combinations Ehrlich had tried to successfully find a cure for syphilis. He was able to prove that magic bullets could be created to cure specific illness and this was an important step in curing people who had become ill. The second reason why Salvesin 606 is important is because this was the first cure for people who had already become ill. Much of the work that we've looked at previously on the work of Robert Koch and Louis Pasteur and vaccinations for example didn't really help people who'd already become ill. The purpose of a vaccination is to prevent becoming ill in the first place. Ehrlich's discovery of Salvesin 606 was the first time in human history where someone had developed a particular chemical combination which would kill a germ to improve the health of someone who'd already become ill. It was also important because it demonstrated how difficult it was to find these magic bullets. As previously mentioned, Salvesin 606 was known as such because there were 605 other combinations tried before Ehrlich found the magic formula. Also, it was important to note that a second magic bullet wasn't found until 1930 for blood poisoning, which demonstrated just how difficult the work that Ehrlich had done was. Join me in the next video when we're going to be taking a look at Alexander Fleming and the discovery of penicillin. I'll see you there.